Hey guys, with more and more card shops going to go out of business, I'm going to tell you the story of this card shop, Clutch Gaming. So, cl or Clutch, not gaming, Clutch Cards in Connecticut of the U.S. They had financial difficulty. They thought they could get out of it. They took pre-orders months and months and months in advance. They changed their policy on their website saying that uh, they're going to cancel all the orders but no one's going to get a refund because of quote financial difficulty this is a story as old as time as you can imagine uh, many game stores have done this in the past and many game stores will it's not just game stores it's also meta zoo meta zoo is on the verge of potential bankruptcy i heard and there's still so many pre-existing, pre, I guess, pre-orders out there. And they are, probably don't have any intention of honoring, even paying the players. I don't believe they have done that yet. Obviously, if your company is having financial trouble, the last thing you're going to do is care about the customer. You're going to make sure you get the bag. but And then you just open another shop, right? So all these pictures of them bragging and them traveling and them like smirking. Look how rich I am. Look at my Lamborghini. Look at me with Ken Godin. Look at me with F1. You know, they probably all did that on the business expense. But when it comes term time for the customer to receive what they have already paid 100% for. Oh, we, we just can't do that. I mean, what, what do you guys think we are, right? A game store? This is pathetic. Um, these two guys need to be re held responsible. I think they're the owners of the card game shop. They're on like all the pictures, right? They, so, I mean, they can afford to get merchandising, graphic design, and hats. But the last thing they can afford is pay pre-orders. And I find that ver very appalling because why ask for pre-orders when you know you can't pay? And at some point in time, due to your finances, you know money is running out tight. You know the rent money is due. Um, why would you continue to take pre-orders if you cannot fulfill them? Well, it's kind of one last hurrah. I bet you these two guys have made millions of dollars. I mean, I've seen this story, song, and verse. Um, and there are a lot of angry customers. There's a lot of bad reviews. And they keep piling up. A lot of what is happening here is due to just the pre-order, the pre-order, like the Kickstarter culture. Before there was Kickstarter, there wasn't this idea that you would give all this money to some rando, right? Like the Nom Nom Kickstarter, isn't that just the MetaZoo Kickstarter 2.0? The guy worked at MetaZoo, the artists are MetaZoo artists. Like, I am not enti entirely sure, you know, that <laughs> you guys. Oh, hey, you got to get in early because you can flip it and make money. If that's what the card game is about, I don't remember Pokemon being on Kickstarter, Yu-Gi-Oh, or even the newer games like One Piece. They're not on Kickstarter because they actually made the product and sold the product. That's typically how you do it. You um, don't do the op. I mean, doing the opposite, which is I need your money to make the product. It doesn't sound right to me at all. It sounds like a disaster. It sounds like you're just asking them to run away. Like, look at MetaZoo and its pre-orders. One of the reasons MetaZoo is probably in financial trouble is because they took all this pre-order money and they don't know really what to do. And they had all these giant tournaments and they didn't pay out their, their last one. Like, it sounds good on paper, but in in reality, um, it, it's terrible, right? It's... it's um, it doesn't make any sense. Like, why? This is a store. Um, at the time, no one thought they were having any. And, and this is true for any store, right? They don't have any financial difficulty. And now they do. And the first thing they, they try to... I bet you these guys have massive, massive collections. Personal collections. Again, I'm going to be talking about personal collections, right? I bet you they have massive personal collections and no excuse not to pay out these customers. These are people who paid in full. 
This isn't their waiting for bed. These are people who trusted you and you screwed them over. So what they did was they went into their website. We can go check it out now. And they changed their policy. And the policy is now cancel all orders and no refunds, which is illegal. You cannot change it. So if I order under one policy, you can't change a policy to be that make it worse for me once I'm done ordering. That's a bait and switch, which is, again, illegal. So um, this is pretty, pretty bad. You know, I think you got to have some type of respect for yourself. Even if your company is going belly under, even if your company is doing very poor, you got to have some type of respect for yourself. I mean, whatever it takes alone, or at, or at the very least, do not take pre-orders. Like, you know you cannot fulfill these pre-orders. You know, like, the, the idea that a company bank, a card company bankrupts like overnight, it's not true. The finances were probably really bad, and you kept going with it. And you said, you know what? These pre-orders will help me, and they don't. Um, and <laughs> you're, you're, you're basically, you know, one thing, I think I was watching Sports Card Radio, and also um, I had to watch, um, yeah, Rattle Pokemon on this, but... One of the things that Sports Card Radio said, which was pretty relevant to pre-orders, and said, why would you ever pre-order? Like, most of the times, the price goes down. Like, why would you ever pre-order from these guys, right? And more to the point is, like, they're living this great lifestyle, traveling, hanging out, smirking with boxes in the background, being big ballers, right? But when it comes time to give you what you already paid for, nah, they can't do that. They can't do that, right? Um, man, I mean, it, it's just, it's kind of the state of the economy right now, the state of the cardboard. Cardboard isn't as hot or sexy as it was during the pandemic. It's not anymore. So a lot of these people who only went into it because they want to make money are finding out, oh, I just, no, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. I need to get out. And they're getting out with other people's money which in my opinion is kind of ridiculous. Oh, oh, okay. Also, another thing was cardboard <laughs> sports card radio said this. Uh, they contacted him and said, hey, you know what? I don't want to be pictured. I think we should plaster their pictures all around, man. I think we should all take pictures of them on their website and then plaster them everywhere with the uh, scammer logo because they got to pay. That's the only thing they understand. They only care about themselves. So why not? Why not? Say, hey, I mean, this is a scam. I'm a lawyer. I'm going to tell them straight up what you've done to change the policy. You, you cannot cancel and then not refund. That's unheard. You canceled without refunding. This is ridiculous, man. This, I mean, what the heck are you doing? You can't just close shop, have all these pre-orders. And the same with MetaZoo. I hope MetaZoo gets sued. I hope these dudes get sued too. Because it's not funny, right? They're, they're, they're hanging out with Gary V, another interesting individual in sports card. It's not funny, man. I mean, you run the business, end the business. You enjoy the business. You clearly travel to F1. You clearly spent a lot of money enjoying the business as an individual, right? Piercing the corporate veil or something, by the way. Can you not make your customers whole? Because I'm pretty sure you have, personally, I'm pretty sure that you have the money to do so. Just choose not to. Make one last cash grab and that's it. Disgusting.